Hi guys, my name is Adam Brayshaw, this is an Inner Light Media tutorial on colour correction. Okay, so I won't go into too much detail, um, it's quite an easy process, um, the way I do it anyway. Um, you can take a lot more time and, you know, and really make it uh, something that you're, you know, you're really happy with. Um, but I'll show you the basic kind of way that I colour correct my, um, my films. Um, okay, so um, I'll just uh, delete this stuff here. Um, this is the look that I went for on 2012 End of Days. This is the final shot that I, um, actually was in the film. Um, and basically how I achieved this look was um, widescreen bars, colour correction, contrast and sharpen. And those four combinations built up that, that final image that you saw there. So what we'll do, we'll get right in and we'll go effects, video filters, matte, widescreen bars. And then here you have different um, options, and this is just an aspect ratio. So I like to go two, three, five to one, and then adjust the offset to frame up your shot. And then go to effects, video filters, color correction, color corrector three way. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure the color corrector is above the widescreen bars because if not, your color correction will actually be applied to the widescreen bars, and you don't really want that. So yeah, above the widescreen, and then go into the visual, and you've got the three wheels here, and what I'll do is I'll bring this up so you can actually see what's going on. Um, you've got the blacks, the mids, the whites. Obviously the blacks affect the dark part of the image, the mids, skin tones, mid-range sort of colours, and the whites, the white areas and the hot spots of um, the image. So <clears throat> the look that I went for with this one was a, a bit more of a, a desaturated, kind of tinted look. Um, and this is just one look, and you can you can be so versatile with this. You know, you just only got to change a few few things, and you get a completely different look. So, to get this look, what I did is I brought the blacks up a little bit, gives it kind of like a, a filmic sort of dreamy sort of look, and then I brought the mids down and the whites down, so we don't have anything blown out at all. I bring the saturation down halfway, and and there you go. This is sort of we're getting somewhere now, this is kind of a desaturated, washed out sort of look and it's kind of nice. But now we want to add the tint. So the blacks will bring down sort of mid-range between the green and the blue. The mids will bring down a little bit more towards the green um, area. And we'll leave the whites as they are. So that's kind of the basic tint uh, that I'm going for. And then going to... Um, Filters, then effects, and apply image control, then apply contrast, and bring that above the color correction. And here we go, we just apply some contrast, not too much. And reason why I've done this, I mean, you can actually apply the contrast all within, you know, the color corrector freeway. But what seemed to happen was because we shot over a course of two weeks the weather changed quite a bit and if I was just to apply this colour correction to all of the clips then some would be really dark, some would be really light and, and it's kind of hard to match it up so I went with um, a basic sort of colour correction like this and then applied the contrast on top so I could have a little bit more creative control on how sort of contrasted I want the image and um, yeah so you only want to apply a little bit and then once you've done that go into effects video filters, sharpen, sharpening, and apply that above the contrast. So the sharpening should be one of the last things you do um, to the image. So everything below it kind of gets affected. And just bring that down to zero, and then slowly bring it up to sort of get the look and feel you want. I mean, it's so subtle, you can barely even tell that it's been applied, but it has been applied, and you don't want to um, apply too much because it just looks a little bit... Um, a little bit much so you, you only want to apply a little bit of sharpening but what it does when you export it out it just gives it that sharp crisp look without it being too um, obvious you just want to kind of just apply it a little and and yeah that's basically it that's kind of the look I went with on the original film and if I just shut all these off and turn the original colors on um, it's a little bit darker but that's Easily adjusted, um, I'll just shut these off. 
but yeah, I mean that's basically the um, the kind of the basic look that I was going for. And I can just bring these down a little bit to match it all up. Bring the whites down, and um, yeah, maybe a, the contrast, just a little bit more. But that's basically it. Job done. Um, you don't need to spend too much time on your color correction. Um, if you're trying to get through, if you've got a lot, a lot of um, shots to do, you know, try and get a, a real good feel first off, and then, um, and then apply that to the rest. And then as you go, you can adjust it and um, and make sure each one kind of matches up. What I like to do is, once the film has been cut and it's all in place, I then go through each shot and make sure that I don't know the first clip kind of matches up with a clip in the middle and one of the end clips matches up with a clip near the start and and you just want to make sure that you haven't got one clip that's just like whoa that doesn't look like it fits and, uh, and you just want to go through each one and make sure it's all um, it all matches up so it's a good way just to kind of go through and make sure that your film is just uh, you know got that same same look and feel all the way through um, yeah, so that's basically it. If you have any questions, comments below, all that kind of stuff, subscribe, send it off, and if you, you know, send it off to your friends. And if you've if you've got any tutorials you want me to kind of cover or anything that you, you know, want me to go over, then send me an inbox on YouTube, and I'll respond to you and try and get one made up for you. Okay, I'm Adam Brayshaw. That was a color correction tutorial. Thanks very much. See you soon.